Hello, my SJP friends. Today we're gonna do a rosary made with knotted cord. Um, you can use whatever you have. If you have a heavy cord or twine, that'll look best. But um, I had ribbon, wasn't easy. I tried yarn, didn't work. But um, I, I had some ribbon, so that's what I used. And I used about three times my height. So I think that's a good starting point. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my finger and I'm wrapping it around my finger three times. I hold the short end towards my thumb and then I wrap it around my finger three times. Then gently pull it off my finger while keeping that triple loop. And then I gotta gently put the long end through the loop and pull it all the way through. I tried a couple different tools. I found that my finger was the best. If you have a very large needle, um, you know, like those big plastic needles, you could try that and see if it works. And then I wanna try to pull the knot tight, but pull it back. Because if you just randomly pull it tight, you're gonna have knots all over the place. So now I'm holding the knot in my thumb, as you can see, the first knot, and I'm gonna make my next knot. Wrap it three times around. Gently pull it off. Very gently. This is very tricky. Then tuck that in underneath. I tried using a crochet hook. That also didn't really work out that well. So I tried a lot of different things and just my fingers honestly was best for this. So now I wanna just sort of push it towards the other knot because I want it to pull tight as close to the knot before as possible. And you really gotta pull it tight to make sure that it's tight. Doing it with ribbon was also part of the, the struggle. So I'm just gonna show you the three knots that I've done and then I will skip ahead because it's a lot of knots. That's a whole lot of knots. But um, you really gotta give yourself a break, give yourself a whole hearty portion of it's okay because this is really, this was a struggle. Maybe it was the material. I think I wanna try this again with some like nice cord and we'll see if it comes out a little bit better. But way later at the end, I'll show you a mistake that I made. And I just kept the mistake in it because mistakes happen. It's part of life. All right, so there's three. I'm going to skip ahead to when I get ten. So if you remember on a rosary, you have five sets of ten. So here we go. Boof, I've got ten. So you do your first decade, and then you leave up space. And I'm not actually doing this this fast. I sped the video up. Um, so you do five, uh, 10, and then you leave some space, make one single knot, and then leave some more space, and start your next set of 10. Now you wanna do this four more times. So after you've got your five decades with four knots in between, you're going to attach your two ends, the very short end and the very long end. And I'm going to show you, you're just going to do the same type of triple knot, triple loop knot, but you're going to use both strings together. So that juncture where usually there's a metal, and usually I think Mary typically is in the center or a saint's metal. This is going to be a triple knot and this one will be slightly larger and all other knots. But it's the same as all the others except you do the two strings together. And then just trim off the excess piece of the short one. And then you're gonna do four more knots. And at the end of that, you can attach across whatever you have attach on there. Some people make a cross made of knots and that was 
That was a struggle, I'll tell you. This was really, really a challenging project. But I think some people, I think some of you definitely can do this. Especially if you're using a nice cord, not ribbon and not yarn. Yarn is very thin, a little bit too thin. But um, show me your successes, show me your failures. I'm okay with those too, because you know what? Life is filled with mistakes. And Oh, here's the mistake that I made, just as I was saying that. Um, I have my one, two, three, four. Yeah, it was the fifth one. When I went to pull the knot, the knot pulled super tight in the wrong spot. And I was really having a hard time. I think it was because I was using it. And when I pulled it, it came way in the wrong place. So I tried to undo it. And it was just so tight. I kind of was like, you know what? It's not coming out. I decided to just make another knot. And include that knot in the other knot. And it ended up looking okay in the end. So, you know, sometimes we have mistakes that we can just hang on to them and they're okay. And, and that's okay. So there's my five knots. And then I would add a cross at the end there. But um, please share with me what you've done. Share with me your successes. Show me your knots, beautiful and ugly. I want to see them all. Because it's beautiful no matter what you've done. So I hope you'd enjoy this. Show me what you've got.